So in part one, we're gonna talk about the compatibility of tips, guards, and guns, and how to match them so they all work properly with each other. Today's video is brought to you by the Paint Life Gear, hats, shirts, and tools. Go check out our store at theidahopainter.com where you can purchase all of our really cool gear. So now let's get on with tips, guards, and guns. So now in front of me, I've got all kinds of guns. I've got, let's see, we'll go over the guns first. I got a Graco inline gun. I've got a Titan gun right here. This is an RX Pro gun. I've got a Graco contractor gun. Great, or this is a Titan LX80 gun. Right here, I've got a Tri-Tech gun. I've got a Spray-Tech gun. I've got a Contractor PC gun. And this is another LX80 gun right here. So I've got a whole mixture of guns. I've got a whole mixture of guards. I don't know even know whose this is. This is a Graco Rack X guard right here. Graco also has a Rack 5 guard right here. So this is a Rack 5 guard. This is kind of an off-brand China manufacturer in I can't remember the sprayer sitting right over there. It's kind of an off weird sprayer right here, but this is another brand. Here's a um, Tri-Tech guard right here. This is a um, Titan guard. This is another type of Titan guard. Here's another type of Titan guard. So I've got all kinds of guards in front of me. This might be a Titan guard or something else. So I got all kinds of guards. Now in front of me, I got all kinds of tips. Here's a, this is a Tri-Tech tip. I've got a Farb Max tip right here. I've got um, right here, this is a Titan HEA tip. This is kind of an off China brand tip. And I think this one matches right there with this guard right here. Let's see, we've got even, let's see, there's um, high product. There's a fine finish tip from Titan. And I've got a fine finish tip. This is a um, Rack X tip from Graco. Here's a Rack 5 tip from Graco. So I think I've got all kinds. This is a high production tip from Titan. So there's a whole array of tips, whole array of guards, whole array of guns. Now, which ones can you use which which? So it's kind of which which, um, kind of interesting. But when it comes to the threads on guns, we'll start off with the threads. There's two types of threads. There's 7 8 threads and there's 11 11 16 threads. 11 threads are also referred to as F threads. The 7 8 threads are referred to as G threads. Now with all these guns right here and all the guns I've ever used, the only threads I've ever encountered are 11 16 11 sixteenths inch threads. I've never encountered a 7 8 inch thread. Now there is, if you do have a gun that's 7 8 and all your guards are 11 16 you can get an adapter to put on your gun that will convert it to a um, 11 16 inch gun. So, but all these guns right here are 11 16 and all the guards are 11 16 inch guards. So as you can see, I can take this 11 16 inch Rack X guard right here, I can screw it on this, this is a Titan gun, it will naturally screw onto a Graco gun because it's a Graco um, guard. This is a spray tech guard. It'll screw on that. Here we got an LX80 gun from Titan. It'll screw on that. And then we got a tri tech gun right here. It'll screw onto that right there. This um, gun that's sitting on that sprayer over there, same thing. It's an 11 16 And how I know that is the guard will actually screw onto one of these guns. So you can see, you can take any guard. I can take any one of these guards. Now I can take, well, for instance, we'll just take a Titan RX Pro gun and we'll take a Graco Rack X guard. We'll screw it right on there. They're completely compatible. You can use them together. Now, one of the questions I get asked all the time is can I use a Titan tip with a Graco guard, so, or, um, yeah, Graco guard. So I got a Titan gun. Naturally, a Titan tip will work with this Titan gun, but it will not work with a Graco Rack X guard. So that is where the compatibility lies. You have to have the proper guard with the tip, and then that will screw onto any gun, and they will work together. As long as the guard will screw onto the gun, and as long as the tip will fit in the guard, it will work. So now, if we'll take, for instance, this is a Titan, um, this is a Titan tip. A lot of these don't have seats in them. That's another interesting thing is that the seats, you have to put the seat in there or paint's gonna go everywhere. All seats aren't compatible. You have to have the right seat with the right gun. And I'll open up, for instance, right here. Here's 
a package right here. This is a Titan HEA tip. It has the seat with it. So you wanna make sure you pull out the seat and that seat will go right into the guard in any type of Titan guard. So I'm gonna put, I'll put for instance, a Titan guard on here. This is Titan guard. Now I can take and put a naturally a Titan tip in here. These are completely compatible and they will work together. So here's a Farb Max tip. Farb Max tips are designed to be compatible with Titan guards. So it will work with a Titan guard right here. So you can see that that works right there and that's gonna spray just fine. Now I can take, remove this. Here's a Graco, a Rack 5 guard. Now this is a Graco Rack 5 guard will screw onto a Titan RX Pro gun and I can take the proper tip, which is a Graco Rack 5 tip, that will screw right in there and that's compatible and that's gonna spray and work just fine. I can take this combination, I can remove it right off of this Titan RX Pro gun. The combination, the, the guard and tip go together. I can spray it right onto, or screw it right onto a Tri-Tech gun and that's gonna be compatible and work just fine. These are compatible together. Once again, I can take this combination, screw it on any one of these guns. So here is, I'll show you, this is kind of, um, but this is the, the, what's interesting, the Graco, here's a Graco um, Rack X and a Graco Rack 5. So the Graco Rack 5 tip, they will work together, but a Graco Rack 5 tip will not work into um, a Graco Rack X guard, you have to have a Rack X tip. The one thing I really, really like about the Graco Rack X guard is when they lock, the tip will not, when it twists and lock and we're in the spray position, it's locked in there, it will not come out. There is no other guard system here that has a tip where it goes into the guard and when it's in the spray position, it's locked in there. So for instance, um, here's a rack five, goes in the rack. It, it will come right out when it's in the spray position. We will show you, this is, um, this is a, the China brand and it, well actually, you know what? Here's a China brand. I've never messed around with this one. It does lock in position. You learn something new every day, a cheap China one. So my assumption was wrong, but a Farb Max, it doesn't lock in. You can see it goes straight in. So the tip can easily fall out. And I'll put it into a Titan guard right here. It doesn't lock in, goes straight in and out. Here's a, um, this is a Tri-Tech tip. I really like Tri-Tech's guards. I like their tips. They're really nice tips, but once again, they don't lock in in the spray position. It will come right out. It doesn't lock in. It's interesting because they're made to actually like they should lock in but it doesn't have the locking mechanism. So there's a little bit about you know, tip combination, guard combinations, and the compatibility and how to get them to work. It's really simple, just get the proper tip, the, the tip with the proper guard, and it'll screw onto just about any gun and it'll spray just fine. Hopefully this answers some of your questions. I'm sure there's gonna be some questions out of this. Just leave them down in the comments below and I'll answer those comments below when it comes to the compatibility of tips, guards, and guns. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Stay tuned, I got four more parts on this. We're gonna be talking about you know, fine finish tips, where I, what tips I'd use for fine finishing, what tips I would use for production, um, and then some other great topics. Got five topics in, on this subject, so stay tuned for those videos. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next video. Out.